Lewis Riddick and the Honda Insider Report. Uh, while we were having this conversation, Earl Thomas and Mark Ingram signed with the yep. Baltimore Ravens. What are your thoughts on that? And, and do you think uh, that shifts in any way, shape, or form their ability to repeat in the division with everybody assuming? And I started the show saying this is Cleveland's division to lose now. What do you yep. think? So I, I love the Earl Thomas signing. I, I love it. Him, between him and Tyron Matthew, a little bit different players but two just dynamic, dynamic guys who play a position that I think people don't give enough credit for in terms of how important it is to have guys who play those positions on your football team and play them at high levels. And Earl's just a difference maker. He's one of the great erasers of this league of all time. He can erase mistakes for everyone else because of his instincts, his speed, his competitiveness. So I love the signing. And I love Mark Ingram. I, I, I I really hoped and thought that they would keep those two together, meaning Mark and Alvin Kamara down in, in New Orleans. I like the signing for Baltimore. I don't, you know, I like the signing for Baltimore in terms of how they want to play. I don't know if I necessarily like the signing for Mark because I'll tell you this, until Lamar Jackson really proves that he can keep people from putting 15 guys in the box and daring him to throw, it's going to be tough sledding for running backs. Tough, tough sledding. The game isn't going to be as loose in the, in the seams and the, in the spacing isn't going to be as open for him in Baltimore as it was in New Orleans because the quarterback hasn't proven himself yet. If he can prove himself, then it'll benefit Mark. But we'll see. Baltimore has a lot to prove. Okay. They've lost a lot of good players, especially on the defensive side of the ball. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.